hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we'll be talking about a very critical concept in git which is the git merge conflict we are simply going to look into what git merge is what is the merge conflict and how to resolve this merge conflict in git so without any further ado let's get started first of all we need to know what git is git is a version control system that keeps a history of all your files this allows you to go back to any of the version at any time and retrieve an older version in a scenario where you push a file called exercise.txt to github and after a while your colleague or your co-worker pulls and edits that file and pushes it back to github that file automatically takes a new version from the version you earlier pushed all right so what is git merge git merge simply helps you to merge changes from other developers before pushing a new change to the same file so for instance when your co-worker makes a change on his branch on the same project before before you push your master branch you might want to merge their own work into the master branch to push to github so git merge simply allows you to do that merge conflict on the other hand results when two developers or co-workers make different changes to the same file on different git branches and then try to merge it to master or main branch for instance your co-worker makes a change to a file called example.txt in the branch which he created and then the next day you on the other hand you decide to go on the master branch and make a change on that same example.txt file and then you realize that you need to merge what your coworker has done back to master. So in the process of trying to make that merge, you'll be faced with a conflict error because the version control system Git is confused as to which actual file it's supposed to keep and which one is supposed to take out because both example.txt file has been modified by two different people. So Git doesn't know which to keep and which not to. So for it not to discard a valuable information and keep the less valuable information, what Git is going to do is to merge both changes together, even if it's not what it's supposed to be. So long it, the changes were made by two different people on the same file, Git will simply just fuse the two together and then create like a bar between them to show that this file was made from this branch and then these other changes was made from this other branch. So for, for instance, here now, your coworker makes a change to a file example.txt and then a day after or that same day, you decide to make the change to that same file example.txt. On the main branch and then at some point you need to submit this project back to your client you decide to merge this two you decide to merge your co-workers branch back to the main branch so the process of merging them back there will be a conflict because the same file has been modified on two different branches this is a graphical representation of what you see when you're faced with a conflict error right how do we resolve merge conflict the best method of resolving merge conflict is simply by communication when faced with a merge conflict error on your command line you simply need to communicate with your co-worker and then find out why he or she made that change and then come to a conclusion between the both of you as to which code or command is supposed to be in that file and then manually edit that file and leave just the right code that is supposed to be there there are other methods but the most effective way is to communicate with 
whoever made that change on, on your repository. So let's get to the command line and practicalize every single thing we've talked about. So we are currently in my terminal and we are inside a repository called testboard. To verify if this is actually a repository, we simply use the command git status, right? So according to git status, we are currently in the master branch, which is a repository. So let's go ahead and create this conflict. Remember we said that conflict results when two different people work on the same file and then try to merge it back to the master branch. So to, to achieve that, we are going to create a branch. So on git to create a branch, simply use the command git branch and then the name of the branch. So for this case, I'm going to name the branch new. All right. So to verify if the branch has been created, we simply use the command git branch. All right. So we have the new branch here, but we are still in the master branch. So I want to switch to the new branch. So I'll simply use the command git, git checkout new. All right. So it will switch me to the new branch, as you can see here. All right. Alternatively, you can also use the command git switch master to switch from one branch to another. So with this, I've automatically gone back to the master branch. You can see it here. So either the checkout or the switch command can do the same thing. All right. So um, let's go ahead and create this conflict in the practice file. All right. So I'll open the practice using VI and then I'll add a line of code to it. Right. With that, I, I can just save and then I'll stage this. And then I'll also leave a commit message, leave a commit message, modified practice. Let me to clear this. So I'll simply git push origin master and then add my security information. All right. So this has been updated. I'll simply check out. Okay, before then, let's preview the content of practice. You can see that in the in the new branch, practice has two lines, all right? One which reads today's a very good day, and then the other which reads please like and subscribe. So when I when I check out to master, right? And then I preview, then I preview practice from master. You can see that master has just one line. Today's a very good day. All right. Let me go ahead and make the change as well on the same file on master. So VI, VI. VI practice, right? So I would say, don't forget to comment. Then I save. Then I I stage the files. I commit. And then um, the commit message. Practice modified, for instance, and then I'll proceed to push using the git push, the git push command, right? My identity, right? So I've pushed that to GitHub. Now let's assume we're done with the um, work, and then I want to merge everybody's work back together. I simply git pull again, okay? Because I want to merge the master branch with the new branch. I simply use git merge new. The new will simply be replaced by the new branch. So when I hit enter, we should have a conflict, right? So this conflict is trying to tell us that we have an auto merging um, issue in the file practice.txt. The conflict content merge conflict in practice.txt all right so if you look at cat practice practice you can see the head and and the new 
all right now what's up here simply means that this line of practice.txt was done by you on your command line while this here was the the new line of text that was added by the remote co-worker all right so to resolve this this conflict is best resolved manually after communicating with your co-worker what's actually supposed to be in that file and then you on the master branch will manually open the file and then simply make the modification right simply make the modification manually save it and push let's assume i communicated with my co-worker and he said everything is supposed to be today is a very good day to learn git and github please like and subscribe and don't forget to comment so i make this modification and then i save this all right i can go ahead and stage it again all right i leave it with a commit message all right and then I push using the git push command, All right? So impute my information and then get my password. So yes, congratulations, we just resolved the mesh conflict. It's as simple as that. Thank you for watching. Please do well to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, hit the bell so that whenever I post a content like this, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you and see you in the next video.